I think the Gator football players are about to have 20 win sprints a, a day, it feels like. Mm. Uh, they have kicked off their uh, second phase of their offseason program, the identity phase, Nick. Uh, the foundation that? has been set. That's what they call the first phase. Mm -hmm. And uh, if, you know, you're hearing us talking about summer workouts and maybe not too exciting, I'll tell that to Billy Napier. Uh, because you think about Florida's year that they have, especially in the fall once they get into the schedule, and you got the game against Georgia, you got some of the road trips you're going to take, you got fall camp and the grind that that is. No, 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 no. Billy says the most challenging thing that they're going to do from a physical and, men and mental standpoint is the first half of this second phase and these workouts that you're watching right now on the screen. And obviously the players were introduced to it l last year in year one. You got a lot of returners back, but you also got a lot of newcomers that are going through these workouts for the first time. And I think uh, this this portion of the program, Nick, is kind of critical to the team that they want to build. I remember talking to uh, Osiris Torrance on the show, um, and he talked to us about, you know, hey, when we went out there for this stuff, guys were like kind of like tapping me, elbowing me, being like, hey, what are we about to do? And he's like, you're just going to have to see for yourself. There's really no no way to put it. Um, but this is just, listen, it, it's just the strength staff. The coaches uh, aren't supposed to be out there, can't be out there per NCAA rules. So it's just the strength staff and a lot of running, like you're seeing, pushing sleds, lifting, um, practicing once a day, twice a day, lift in the morning and, and run and run in the afternoon. Um, it's grueling. And, and I think the uh, point of it all is to challenge yourself mentally. What are you going to do when you're exhausted and, hey, we're – we're only three quarters of the way done. You got five more sprints. You've got to push this sled another hundred yards. Um, just challenging yourself, taking yourself to a breaking point uh, and pushing through that and continuing to go. I think you're trying to create mentally uh, a mentally strong football team. No doubt. And the way that this breaks down this phase two, uh, it's basically a four week period that the Gators have. They do a, a one hour workout session uh, four times a week. And, you know, this basically challenges them, challenges them inside the indoor practice facility. It, it's a prep, obviously, for spring ball, but also, as Napier mentioned, from a physical toughness, mental standpoint, this is kind of the intangibles that they're trying to create right here. And uh, these 15 sessions kind of establish that. And you're talking about 40-yard wind sprints, 20-yard wind sprints, repeatedly get a 25-second rest, and then you're having to do it again. Yeah. And, you know, there's obviously creating competitions as well. And, and there's a lot of camaraderie that gets created, too. You think about all the pieces that they bring back and, and starters. There's not much staff turnover now, but so much attrition that they've had from the roster. You get a lot of guys coming back that kind of know the routine now, know what the expectation is. But I think 27 new scholarship players have been added for this spring that are going through this for the first time and probably have never. Mm -hmm. Look, this is the Bama blueprint that Mark Hockey and, and Billy Napier and their staff are putting these players through. And, and a lot of these guys, especially the ones that are coming over as transfers from other programs, they've never experienced anything like this. So to kind of get introduced to this, uh, I think foundation was was kind of an intro, but but what they're doing right now, now for the next four weeks uh, is really going to get them ready for spring ball, which starts on March 4th. Uh, that might get me in shape for my wedding uh, later this June. <laughs> if, if they wanted to invite me out, don't know if I'd make it through it, though. I <laughs> don't know uh, if my foundation is set and or if my identity is uh, where it needs to be, Zach. Uh, but, but that but that's what they're doing. It um, It is interesting. I think it's it, – see, there's Graham Mertz. Hello. Um, I think it is interesting that yeah, – Another new have, transfer to Rodham Mitchell. Hello. Yeah. It's interesting that you have 27 – new guys um that's a, a massive number most of the uh high school signing class obviously and then you have the 10 uh through the transfer portal um so it'll be interesting to see how these guys are handling it um how how they come together as a team um and i've been talking a lot about the transfer portal in terms of baseball it's a little more normal in, in terms of football you're used to getting this kind of roster turnover now um but i don't know that many schools in the country will have as many mid-year enrollees as Florida does this year. And Nick, what has just been your general impression now a year removed of Mark Hockey and this strength staff and this strength program? Because we know in talking to the players all last offseason that the one thing that they were emphasizing was the conditioning aspect of the strength mm -hmm. and conditioning program. Obviously, Savage was big in the weight room and having those guys push around weights. But I think 
they wanted to get this team faster, more lean, better condition to kind of be able to compete in that fourth quarter. Yeah. And uh, look, judging by the way the season played out, when you think about the way that the Gators rallied in so many, many games, came back in the second half, uh, were able to stay in it until the end, I definitely think from a conditioning standpoint, uh, Hawking and staff did a really good job in year one. Well, you you set me up there. I mean, you you asked the question, then you answered it. I think that's I think that's the answer. And what the team is doing that, and not just this, the identity and foundation phases, but the way they run practice. I joke with uh, Rob Sale, Stapleton, and, and then some of the offensive alignment all the time when they're doing in Indy when they're doing individual drills. The offensive alignment have to run like a diagonally across the field the longest to get to. The, you know, the team stuff. I'm like, man, they make these big guys run the length of the field. And I think it's all geared towards exactly what you just said, which is when we're in the fourth quarter and teams start to get tired, that's not going to be our team. Um, and and you watch even in, in the games Florida lost and even in the games they won, there's close games. And if it comes down to who can put together one more drive or get one more stop, uh, the team that's not, you know, hands on head or hands on knees gasping for air is is, is going to be the team that likely comes out with a win. You didn't get yeah. too many of the wins last year, but it's it's a it's a foundation and a building phase, and, and I do think that you see that and saw that last year uh, late in games. And obviously, it's not just Mark Hockey. He's got a whole staff of, of folks, uh, you know, in all type of roles. You know, when you think about Ed Thompson and, and, and kind of the energy that he brings, obviously Tiger Jones. And this in the speed department, and he's got that you know cane that he brings out to. Uh, I think all those guys have, have have had their impact, and this is their time to shine. I mean, this is they get their hands on this team right now, as you said, Nick. Uh, the, the coaches are kind of hands off, so it's really these strength coaches that are kind of serving as the leaders. But also, you got the players too. Uh, you've you've got the seniors, you've got the kind of upperclassmen, the returning starters, and also you usually have a quarterback. That's kind of stepping up as a leader. Now it's kind of a probably awkward period right now as uh, there's no there's no QB one 